that Labour won in every single region in England. Take pride that Labour won in Wales. Take pride that Labour won in Scotland. Governing is always difficult for every party, and that's before slip-ups and unforced errors. And plenty takes forever to do, perhaps never gets done. So leaders like to celebrate what they have managed. Doctors back in theatre, new solar projects, new offshore wind projects, the onshore ban lifted, great British energy launched, one word Ofsted judgments ended. Next, the Prime Minister tried to describe how life feels for many people. Look at our country. Do you see a Britain where people feel, with the certainty that they deserve, that the future will be better for their children? Because when I was growing up, that's what we believed. But that is not the country we inherited in July. That confidence, that certainty, it's brittle and fragile. His job then, to end that, and in an extended section of particular passion from Sir Keir Starmer, the riots this summer pulls apart, he says, from legitimate worries about migration. People concerned about immigration were not doing that because they understand that this country, this democratic country, is built on the rule of law, the ballot box the common understanding, that we debate our differences, we do not settle them with violent thuggery, and racism is vile. Controlling migration, a commitment, he said, and on choices in government, like cancelling the winter fuel payment for millions of pensioners. I understand that many of the decisions we must take will be unpopular. If they were popular, they'd be easy. To the volatile international picture, the Middle East and developments there in the last few days. So I call again for restraint and de-escalation of the border between Lebanon and Israel. And I call again for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. The return of the sausages, the hostages, and a recommitment to the two-state solution. Note the slip up there, sausages caught quickly and all over social media almost as quickly. This speech was light on new policies, but this next bit was new, making it easier for military veterans to find a home. We will repay those who served us and house all veterans in housing need. Homes will be there for heroes. The campaigners say there's nowhere near enough social housing as it is. Then a protester. This guy's obviously got a pass from the 2019 conference. And to the Prime Minister's conclusion. A Britain built to last, built with respect, built with pride, because together we have shown that Britain belongs to you. This speech.